This is our new segment called <laughs> the Morning Footy Struggle Bus. I don't why know why we we're on it. Bus? We should not be on it. We should be driving the struggle bus. I we should be struggling. right here. But that's right. What we're going to do is we're going to help teams or players or coaches that need help. I'm going to help the last club you'd ever expect me to help. I'm going to help Tottenham. Well, I'm going to help Ange Postacoglu. All right, look, I'm an Arsenal fan. You'd expect me to want my rival to be in poor form. But that doesn't make the North London Derby fun. I want to see Conor McGregor fight. Yeah, but I don't want to see Conor McGregor fight Nico Cantor. No. <laughs> That's what he looks like when he's not even fighting. You know what I mean? Look, I'm going to fix three things, Ange. All right, first, I'm going to fix your stubbornness. Ange, sometimes you got to tweak the game plan, man. In that Brighton game, you were up 2 0, and then Brighton smacks you with goal after goal after goal. Just when you thought it was over, it's like another one. Jeez, it must have felt like Kyle Walker buying Christmas gifts for his kids. Bro, homie, got to be like, another one? How many do I got? <laughs> Look, you're up two goals, and you still send your fullbacks up? Maybe play a little more conservatively, huh? Especially at the end of the match, and then maybe you won't collapse like Red Lobster when they did the all-you-can-eat shrimp. <laughs> but it's not my fault, all right? You said all-you-can-eat. That's on you, Papa. All right, next, I'm going to fix how you handle the media. After a 1-0 loss in the most recent North London Derby, you said, I always win things in my second year, buddy. And no, no. The English press love to take every little thing you say, and then they twist it around for weeks and weeks until you're gone. It's like they all learn journalism at the University of Latina Ex-Girlfriends, all right? No, that's not what I said, Maria. Damn. When'd your mom get here? Ange, I hate to say this, but you're... With the media in particular, you're kind of, you're doing a little less clop and you're doing a lot more Ten Hag, and that's the last thing you want to do, bro. All right, yo, what would Ten Hag do? Don't do it, all right? <laughs> and finally, the last thing is the set pieces, buddy. Maybe it's the set pieces after all, all right? You give up more set piece goals last year than Everton had points deducted for overspending. That's not good. Especially if you, if you watched Everton for the first time, you'd be like, they got in trouble for overspending on this? Ange. When you're asked if you want a set piece coach, it's a suggestion to make the team better. You're not getting stabbed in the back. No, you're not the coach of the Uruguay national team. Nah. <laughs> no. Look out, BLC, he's gonna bite! Uh oh, oh, never mind. Uh, so look, here's the deal, Ange. One, stop being so stubborn. Two, learn to talk to the English media. And three, maybe get a set piece coach. Huh? Do all that, and maybe you'll win something in your second year. Or don't, and I can keep making my Tottenham jokes. How about all that? All right. Huh? Well done. I hope wow. he takes your advice and beats Arsenal. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. It's not going to happen. Maybe it's maybe it's 15th yeah, year. We go. Uh, Give him hell. Right. All right. Give that's going to be that's going to be difficult to follow. I can't up. believe you showed Nico style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite one of my favorite moments on the show. That's going to be really difficult to follow up, but I'm going to try my best. So my struggle bus is a team that's top of one of the biggest clubs in Europe. Let's just say that Bayern Zibaya, Munich. The struggle bus is the back line, specifically Kim and Jay and Dio Upamakano. Those two, although the team has been cooking offensively, those two have been mm, willing mal, as they say in Espanol. Oof. You look at what they do in terms of problems at the back, and my biggest one is number one, they're too disconnected. And Kim and Jay, this is a player that was the best defender on that Napoli side that won the Scudetto. He was the best defender in Italy, and that season I thought he was the best defender in all of world football. What's happened? It's because he's partnered with the wrong guy. If you're Kim and Jay, get back to what makes you so good, which is stop being so aggressive to step out. Be more conservative and learn and to play with the strengths of Diopo Meccano. Diopo Meccano, Nico, you had mentioned that he's not your favorite defender. I think and he's a little bit rash. He's, a, he's erratic. So Kim and Jay, be that calming factor and calming force. Next to a player, you can be that guy, but next to a player who's up and down. And then for Diopo Meccano, it's all about staying more connected to the rest of your back line. And it leads me to this. Kim and him, they ain't him. You need to get new center backs if you're Bayern Munich. It's not good enough. And this is a side that is having success, but you look at who they're playing next. They play Stuttgart, they play Barcelona. Ooh. Two sides who, Ooh. if you play and defend like you've been defending, Bayern Munich hasn't really played anyone outside of Leverkusen. If you defend that way, you're gonna get absolutely cooked. I was gonna say another word, but I'd probably get five percent. So. <laughs> they're on my struggle bus. Get new center backs. Come Good on. Job, we're really helping teams Preach. out. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we know what we're talking about. Mm. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. Nico Cantor. Okay. My turn. Nico, um, while you're walking up there, I noticed they put me at the back of the bus and you at the front. I feel like that's how it would be. 
You'd be you closer to the you, teacher. And, 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 definitely fun, and funny enough, the, the team, if you look at their numbers that I'm going to talk about, might say, hey, we're, we're not on the struggle bus. And that's Atletico Madrid, who is doing pretty well for themselves. They're sitting third in La Liga. They're yet to lose a game. Hmm. But I think if you look at the manner in which they're getting results, it's pointing towards a trend that's going in the wrong direction. And if you look at their last six games, they only have two wins. And one of those wins came in the 90th minute and they saved themselves from their first loss of the 90th minute goal in the Derby de Madrid against Real Madrid. So I think Atletico Madrid is, is having a, some issues and that's why they're closest to getting off the struggle bus. But. Cholo Simeone is yet to find his team, his ideal 11. He is constantly switching. So take this international break, Cholo, por favor, to find out who your best 11 is. We've had a couple of trial runs already, but there's big games coming up and losing to Benfica in the Champions League. 4-0 is not good. And there's big changes. Three guys off, three guys on. It, it shows that he still hasn't decided what his best team is. And on top of that, that means that you need to get the most out of your players. And one guy that you paid around 90 million euros for is not responding. He actually hasn't been playing great since the summer with Argentina at the Olympics. And I'm talking about La Araña, the spider, Julian Alvarez. This is not some guy that you can keep on the bench. That, okay, he's not playing well. You pay that type of money, he better be delivering at that type of level. And he's not. So, who's he paired best with? Sorloth, Griezmann, Angel Correa, Molina on the right side, Llorente on the right side. There are so many question marks for Atletico Madrid to be a third place team in La Liga, to jump and compete with Real Madrid and Barcelona, and don't let them get too far ahead this early. And then finally, what's gonna help with that? On the road. You've got to start getting wins on the road, Atletico Madrid. This can't be the same story as last season because if not, they are going to get too far ahead. Atletico, eh, Barcelona and Real Madrid. You can't lose 4-0 against Benfica in the Champions League. And there's going to be more important road games coming up. you got to compete with the team that you put together. Gallagher's looking good here and there, but please, Atletico Madrid, there's a good opportunity to not make this a two-team La Liga season they did got good investment they're right there we were so excited they're right there no, no no i'm still excited but they're right there well, also good being positive. that was great that was they, good. yeah thanks that they was they good can't get, they can't be on the struggle bus <sighs> all Suze. right Suze heard him Suze. i did <laughs> no do you know what this one actually pains me because and i uh -oh. before I, I i start this i just want i want them to know that this is coming from a place of intense and deep love and admiration mm -hmm. but unfortunately unfortunately i'm going to talk about sporting kansas city oh who is absolutely riding the struggle bus uh this is the second season in the last three that they have failed to make the postseason and this was a team that was always always in the playoffs uh but it's just not the case anymore they only have eight wins on the season so the first thing i'm going to address and again i love this man i have the utmost respect for peter vermees who has been the head coach coach of Sporting Kansas City since 2009. 2009 has 15 seasons in charge while he's also the sporting director. It's too much. It's too much. Both jobs are too big and you have a problem right in front of you, a short term problem. You got to focus on that or the long term. It can't be both at the same time. And also, it is just time for a fresh voice. I think that this team especially is in need of a new fresh voice because it's just been too long. It's been too long. I again, I respect everything he's done. He won four trophies with them, four conference titles. But again, take a step back, let some new blood in. They've got Benny Philhaber, who is a club legend, waiting in the wings. He is coaching their second team right now. Maybe he can reinvigorate these guys. I'm just saying it's time. It's time, Peter. OK, next up, we got to get a younger roster. We got to get a younger roster on Sporting Kansas City. Alan Polito, Johnny Russell, Eric Tommy, Andreo Fantas, Tim Melia, Nemanja Redoja, both of their center backs. Everybody is over the age of 30. The years are catching up to him. And you know I love Johnny Russell. He's like my favorite MLS player ever. 
but the years are just catching up to these guys. And Alan Polito, yes, he had a fantastic comeback season last year. He only has seven goals this season. They haven't had a goal scorer in double digits in two of the last three seasons. Ooh. And for me, that's something. That's a problem. They've got two DP spots that are open right now. I need that scouting department to get to work and find some young, exciting talent to put on the pitch. And finally, and this is the X factor, you need to reestablish your identity. As I mentioned, this was a team that was a perennial playoff threat. They were always in the hunt for trophies. At one point, they made eight consecutive postseasons. And again, this is the second season in three that they're not going to be playing postseason soccer. So this is a team that just needs to refocus and remember who they were competing for US Open Cup trophies, competing for MLS. Uh, they've only won six games at home. Children's Mercy Park, one of my favorite venues in all of MLS. It used to be a fortress. It used to be a, a place where other opposing teams were, were terrified to go into, and you were just so happy to even get a point there. And it's not the case anymore. They have seven losses at home. You need mm. to make that place a fortress once again. You need to reestablish that identity, that winning identity. I believe you can do it, but those are my, those are my, three, my three factors. Not bad. <laughs> Sporting Kansas City, I love you. All right. Who's most on the struggle bus? Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Look at us as so, the drivers looking back. I mean, <laughs> the two Bayern center backs after the week that they've had, they're definitely in the front seat. Also, what is Kim and Jay doing on the bus, bro? Same, same <laughs> defending he was doing. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing. This foot up. I think Kim and Jay just yelled showtime for anyone who's ever been on a New York City subway. You, you know what the thing with the Kim and Jay Upamecano partnership that I don't get mm -hmm. is that Kim and Jay at Napoli, he was the one that ventured forward. He was a center back that liked to have those excursions. Yeah. But, and none of the guys are like the patrol, the, the Virgil van Dijk that own. Well, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I think I'm shocked at most because Vincent Company was a center back. Yeah. Fix it, dude. And Fix it. Not giving any defensive direction. Fix it. Crazy. Get off that struggle bus.